Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Areska. And this video we are going to go over the quadratic formula and how to use it to solve the equation, especially quadratic equation. So, typically you are going to have a quadratic equation in standard form. Okay, let me see. The quad the standard form of quadratic equation is a x square plus bx plus c equal to zero. This is the standard form of quadratic equation. So, the number in front of x square is a, and the number in front of x is b, and this is c or constanta. And here is the quadratic formula. x equal negative b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, let's use this formula to solve the quadratic equation. So, let's say if you have this equation, for example, x square minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. Well, a is the number in front of x square. If you don't see the number, it is 1. So, uh, I can write A is 1. B is the number in front of x. Be careful. This is not only 2, but negative 2. So, we have to write B is negative 2. And C is negative 15. So let's use this formula. This formula to find out the X. So we are going to here. X equal negative B. Because B is minus 2. So negative minus 2 is positive. Positive 2 plus minus square root of b square minus 2 square is 4 minus 4 ac 4 ac so 4 times 1 times minus uh, 4 times 1 times negative 15 so if you confuse i can write 4 times to 1 and times to negative 15 divided by 2a, 2 times 1, because a is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so, 2 plus or minus square root of 4, so I can say that 4 times 1 is 4, and times to negative 15 is 16, and negative 16, negative 16, minus negative 16, so plus 16, divided by 2, equal to 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 16 is 64, divided by 2. Now, so... Now what you need to do next is you need to find the square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8. So I can write equal, um, I need more space, can I move here, okay. So 2 minus plus minus square root of 64 is 8 divided by 2. Okay, once you get this part, you want to spare it, it into two expression. So, we can say um, the first answer is x1. 
equal to look at this plus 8 divided by 2 2 plus 8 is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 and the second answer is x2 equal to so here is minus 8 divided by 2 equal 2 minus 8 is negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 okay so you have that both of them are solution of this quadratic equation I can write the solution the solution of this quadratic equation is negative 3 or 5 it means when you put x with negative 3 or you put x with 5 it could be 0 for example when I put x negative 3 so I will get negative 3 square minus 2 times negative 3 minus 15 negative 3 square is 9 minus 2 times negative 3 is plus 6 and minus 15 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 15 is 0 okay correctly the same way when you put 5 into this quadratic equation you will get a 0 you can try by yourself and thank you for watching this video see you in the next part bye bye